Want to know a bit of a secret? Who this? These are the pants that I'm wearing. Most of the time you see me post videos, I am wearing clothes up the top and down the bottom usually have the grossest pants on. The ever pajamas, skins, usually with no pants. Like just pants that just do not go with the shirt that I'm wearing. Why? Because I can't be bothered getting dressed. I just wanna just wanna look good at the upper top up the Yeah, let's start this video. So I got a question sent in through email. Someone asked me, Matt, what's, what's the best diet to lose weight? And instantly, I started to rephrase that question for him. And I said, look, the question you don't wanna be asking is what is the best diet to lose weight? Because the truth is, there are so many different ways that you can lose weight, right? So many different diets that you can lose weight. But a better question that you can ask is, Matt, what is the most efficient way to lose fat and get healthy during the process. Because the challenge with so many diets out there is yes, they can transform the way that you look, but they can damage the shit out of your body during the process. They can get you to starve yourself. They can get you to, to, to put your state in this, on, in a, 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 man, I need to slow down. Slow down, Matthew. They can put your body in a state of ketosis, right? And what happens is when your body gets into that state, and I'll talk a little bit about that in a second, your body starts to crave all these different foods. You start to binge eat. So yes, those diets work short term, and yes, you'll get these fast results. But what will happen is you'll constantly take one step forward and then two steps back. And yes, there are people that get those amazing results long term, some. My question is, are they healthy? Mm. That's a question you need to ask yourself. So if you want to damage your body, go ahead and go in to take those tea shit, those tea diet shit. Go ahead and go onto that paleo shit diet. Go ahead and yes, I will call those people out who are on that diet right now. I have my recommendation, and I'm only gonna be saying this out of personal experience because I've only started to do this uh, for the last maybe three months, right? Now, two or three months. And that is, my experience shows that high carb, low fat vegan lifestyle is the best way to lose body fat. Hands down, in my experience, here's why. Because you need to understand that it's not, it's not carbohydrates that make you fat. Stop being scared of eating a bowl of rice. Stop associating guilt to eating fruit. Carbohydrates. That is some bullshit that we've been consistently marketed to and brainwashed to believe. Because of the sugar in the fruit, we can't eat that because that's gonna make you gain body fat. No, the truth is it is fat that makes you gain body fat. The fat that you eat is the fat that you wear. Get that? So here's what I want you to do. From my experience, and I'm gonna show you some results in a second. I'm not gonna take my shirt off or anything, unless you want me to. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you right now, just to give you a bit of context to this, this is a DEXA scan, right? A DEXA scan with, it shows you with 99% accuracy, uh, your body fat levels, your, your, your fat levels, same thing, your fat levels, your muscle, and your bone density, right? So here's what happens. So to break things down, because you're probably gonna see all these numbers and be scared and be like, what does this all this mean, Matt? Like, I'm not a scientist. So here's what happens, right? So if you see these dates here, 11th, oh, zoom out, 11th of the 1, 2016, 9, 1 to 16, 15, 4, 16. I want you to really focus on these, these two dates here. That's a five week period, okay? This, at the start of the year, which is I was just eating my own, like just shit. I wasn't eating my own shit, but I was, you, you get the idea, right? So I was just eating whatever I wanted to, and then, that's when I started to focus on high carb, low fat lifestyle. And here's what the results were, okay? So when I was just eating my own stuff, I actually, if you see here, so you'll see that I actually gained 1.1 kilograms of fat. And then when I switched to high carb, low fat, I started to lose nine, like say kilogram, a kilogram of fat. Not weight, but fat. And then over here, you'll see, then when I switched over to high carb, low fat, this is muscle here, I, I, I gained, oh, zoom out a bit, 2.2 kilograms of muscle. So this is the visual this is the visual diagram, right? Eating my own stuff, gained body fat. High carb, low fat, whoosh, straight down, losing the body fat. Over here, doing your own thing, losing a bit of muscle. High carb, low fat, whoosh, straight away, gaining muscle. So, and a big thing is that you need to really understand for my short-term thinkers that yes, I only lost one kilogram of fat within a five-week period. That is, right, that's about this. This is 2.2 kilograms of fat. Yes, I lost about half of this. 
and I'm okay with that because most people have this short-term mindset and they want to lose six kilograms of fat within you know, three weeks and it's okay to have that ambition the challenge with that you if you if you set that as your goal and you're very quick you just, you just want that quick fix you're gonna try and do some crazy diet, restrict yourself from calories, restrict yourself from carbs, restrict yourself from food, start to associate guilt to eating, and this is what will happen to you. You'll constantly take one step forward and two steps back. And do you know how many fucking women I sit down with one to one and they say that to me over and over again. I don't want to have too much fruit, Matt. Why don't you want to have fruit? Because you know it's gonna it's gonna make me gain body fat. It's got, it's got too much sugar. This is what is happening. We need to start to unlearn certain things. Carbohydrates do not make you fat. Fat makes you fat. Fruit. It's okay to eat fruit. We have these amazing gifts from God, whatever the hell you believe, sent down to us in this form, in this amazing gift. And we are associating guilt to eating this amazing fruit that are so high in carbohydrates, so high in vitamins and nutrients. Nutrients, that's a new word. Here you go, if you want your nutrients, my friends, go and get some bananas. So high in nutrients, and we are associating guilt to that. I know that my DEX scan result isn't a representation of what will happen for every single person once they transition to a high carb, low fat lifestyle. But what I will say is that you should try this out and base the validity of the information I'm sharing with you from your own subjective experience. Here's a breakdown. Here's what I've been following. Step one, right? I want you to go and uh, download My Fitness Power or Chronometer. I'll leave a link below to Chronometer uh, that I personally have been doing. Two, I want you to start to track your calories for three to seven days. Make pro seven days. Seven days to track your calories. Three, step three, I want you to start eating 2,100 calories minimum, not maximum, minimum for the next seven days. If you want to eat a little bit more, go ahead and eat a little bit more. Now, do you just want to be eating anything to get into that calorie limit? No. Here's what I want you to do. Step four is I want you to focus on 80% of your calories must come from carbohydrates, 10% of your calories come from fat, 10% of your calories come from protein. And I know that's a lot, especially if you're new and you're like, I don't even know what the hell that means. So what I want you to do is go and download My Fitness Power, go and download Chronometer because they work all that stuff out for you. You don't have to think about these things. All you need to do is get your phone out or go on the computer, type in, today I had this amount of bananas. Today I had this, today I had this. And it shows you in visual form, okay, this is how many calories came from, this is how many carbohydrates came from your calories. You had this amount. So it works it all out for you. Just do this for seven days. The reason why I say this, one, is because if you're having less than 2,100 calories, is because anything less than that, they consider it that you're literally putting yourself, it's literally a starvation lifestyle. You don't want that. Why do you want to do high carb? Because that is our, bo our body converts that into glucose. Our brain runs on glucose. We need that as fuel. You'll notice that when you do this, you won't get all these weird cravings. You won't get this weird need to reach for sugar, like, like chocolate and so on, to, to, to satisfy yourself. Because you're satisfied just from the carbohydrates. You have all the fuel that you need. Why low fat? Because it's fat that makes you gain body fat. So you want to make sure that majority of your, your, your foods are coming from staples and fruits and vegetables and all these amazing foods and you can get an idea of how much fat is in everything from Chronometer or My Fitness Power. So those are the steps that I want you to take. Very, very simple, very, very easy to implement. Do this for the first seven days and I can guarantee just for you feeling amazing, you want to do this for a little bit longer. Go ahead and do that. Here's what I want you to do as well, because I know there are some people that have followed this lifestyle, that watch my videos. I want you to leave a comment below and just leave a few sentences or maybe even a paragraph about your experience during high carb, low fat. Because there's gonna be some people coming to this video and going, what is this all about? Does this really work? So I want you to basically, I want, to show, I want people to see your results as well. So make sure you leave a comment below um, about your experience during high carb, low fat. If maybe someone doesn't comment on my video because I'm lonely and no one really watches it, then go ahead and type in high carb, low fat on YouTube and you'll see freaking thousands of testimonials of people sharing their journey during this lifestyle and how amazing they felt. So go ahead and do that. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Give this video a big thumbs up and until I see you in the next video, remember to love all living things and most importantly, love thyself. Thank you.